for dinner. body soul homemaking and welcome if you're new if you are new my name is Audrey I make motivational homemaking video wife life content traditional living slow living so if you're interested in that hit the subscribe button below I'd love to have you so I have a few things planned today we're gonna get our kitchen table I need to do some laundry change the sheets sweep here inside the sunroom just a few odds and ends but before we start all that I kind of wanted to sit down and talk to you ladies a little bit about the struggle, you know, of being a modern, traditional housewife, it can be really hard, especially through the eyes of social media, to kind of feel like, to find your place and to feel like you belong. Because there's so many different types of homemakers, which is good because we can all like learn and grow from each other and I think embrace each other's way of doing things as homemakers and not be so like, judgmental or like there's only one way to do things. But I know for a long time before I even started this channel, I never considered myself to be like a homemaker. I never even heard that term. I never even heard, I mean, I've heard of like housewife term, you know, through TV and all that. I never really embraced it or considered it or gave myself that role. I think until I did, until I kind of got familiar with this whole homemaking community the sooner I embraced it and accepted it and really kind of stepped back and said hey you know actually I am a homemaker <laughs> it just opened my eyes and it gave me a new sense of purpose and empowered me to be like the best homemaker that I could be and that's what encouraged and motivated me and inspired me to go on this homemaking journey and make these videos so I can help you sisters who are struggling to try to be a traditional homemaker in you know a modern world. So from then on I just started like looking up homemaking channels. I found Mrs. Midwest. She inspired me. Time and Tenderness, Cynthia, like all these homemaking channels and for the most part I kind of realized there's not very many traditional homemaking channels out there. You know I understand that it for you know this typical stereotype cookie cutter homemaker that we've seen in like the 1950s where it was just over exasperated and just not realistic and attainable i don't agree with that type of way of promoting i try to be balanced i try to show you the struggles a lot of women on here do that same thing i think because that extreme version of homemaking many are turned off from it and they're they're kind of like they don't they kind of lump that into the Proverbs 31 wife, like, oh, I have to be this, then, you know, that's not realistic, which is a shame, but once you learn that, you know, everybody has their way of their version of what a homemaker is, I think can really go a long way and not to be overcritical of others or jealous of them or feel threatened by them, which I've talked about before in my last video on how you can embrace and enjoy homemaking. I think the first step is to recognize that you are a homemaker and then accept the role and then start to embrace that role and see areas, you know, maybe it's tiniest little things in a day, but you can see where you can improve. You know, it's okay to look at homemaking as your dream career. It doesn't take away from your intelligence or your ability to grow or expand your knowledge or talents. In fact, it really just gives you more of an opportunity. So all that being said, I kind of just wanted to ask you ladies a favor. If there's anything that you struggle with or anything that you think that I can improve on my channel, I really want to make my channel something where you can feel inspired, that you can feel motivated, that you can't, like I don't want you to feel, I don't want you to have to compare yourself. I don't want you to feel envious or I don't want you to feel less than. I want to inspire you and I, want to know if there's any constructive criticism out there that you think that I can be better at. What do you look for when you watch homemaking videos that inspires you? And Beautifully Simply Home 
mentioned that um, when I put the text on the screen that it's kind of hard for her to read and I do it too fast. So that really helps me because, you know, when I'm doing that, I don't, I want my point to get across. I want you guys to understand what I'm saying so you can feel inspired. Yeah, just anything that you have that you feel like I can improve on, I'm welcome to it. You can email me if there's something specific that you're struggling with and you don't want to put it below in the comments. Hey, I had to stop because Josiah woke up from his nap. But anyways, we're gonna go ahead and get on with the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. If you do, give a thumbs up. Then let's just go ahead and get on with the video. table just to see like kind of what it would look like. I probably won't keep the placemats and glasses there always, but just wanted to see. I'm super excited. It's coming together. Everything has to be exact measurements, height, weight, width. Drives me a little bit crazy, but um, gotta compromise. stain remover. Um, this is one of my favorite sweaters and I just found it at Goodwill for $3. And he always spits up on like both sides and whatever he's eating or chewing. Let me know if you guys have like a foolproof stain remover solution. And also I have to clean the Love Every Play gym mat because Minnie decided to pee on it twice. <laughs> Peed on it. So I'm gonna have to like lock her out of Josiah's room because she constantly, she likes to go in there and play with him and everything, but I just can't keep having to do that. But it held up really good, so we'll see how it holds up the second time around. I just made myself my second cup of coffee. I'm editing um, this video that you're watching now. It seemed a little short, like the first part was pretty short. Yeah, but other than that, I did service this morning. So I wrote a letter. <laughs> It only took two hours, but with him, it's just really hard because he's constantly like needing something or crying. He's really fussy right now because he I think he's in a leap. <laughs> oh, oh, also, she's been peeing and pooping in the corner there. I just, I don't get it. I know last time I mentioned it, you ladies suggested that my, she have like a yeast infection. Can you please, if you can, remind me of what oils to use? That way I can write them down because this is just, Thankfully, all of this is tile. Um, okay. 
he's eating my book here. So we're gonna go ahead and go. Yeah, hopefully you enjoy the rest of the video and let's get started. So as I was sitting here studying the Bible, I was like, oh, I'm so calm and I'm so, I feel so relaxed. I took a deep breath and I smelled the lavender. I was like, oh, it works. I need to calm down. It's, it does smell really amazing. And I, I'm, I'm gonna keep the lavender right next to my book nook. The smell of lavender just really winds you down and calms you down. Another thing that I found that I wanted to kind of suggest to you ladies, if you find Bible reading to be kind of boring and hard for you to concentrate. Something that I felt that is more engaging and that helps me is to write out the Bible. So one of your goals could be from start to finish, write out the whole Bible as you're reading it. And it's actually something that has had me looking forward to my Bible reading, something that I'm not, I don't have to think about or what I'm gonna read. I just know I'm gonna write out the Bible. And I really like that scripture that says that you know, once it's in there, you know, God's gonna help you recall it when you need it. So scientists even say that writing things out by hand boosts your cognitive ability. And also, you know, when you go into a classroom, the teacher will have you write word from word uh, of what's on the board because it helps get it into your brain and it helps you and forces you to slow down and take in what you're reading. And the fact that it helps, you know, your cognitive ability. I wanted to look up cognitive for you just so you can like better understand how it can benefit. It says, Cognition refers to the mental action or process of acquired knowledge and understanding through thought, experience, and senses. So, again, writing it out word for word is really going to help. Hopefully it can help one of you ladies, and if it does, let me know. I also wanted to quickly mention that when you are writing this out and you come across a scripture that, you know, intrigues you or whatever, then you can say, okay, I want to study more about this and then you can get on the app a JW library app and then you can find the scripture that you want to further research and then read the articles that they provide for you so if you're not familiar with what I'm talking about email me and then I can set you up with what I do as far as my Bible study goes so another thing that's helped me is having a designated spot where you do your Bible study so this is perfect for me I can look out the window, have something that's relaxing, um, make it cozy, have your blankets, pillows, um, essential oils, things like that. So you can get in the zone and kind of get in that mentality that, okay, I'm going to spend, you know, 20 minutes sitting here and relaxing, have a cup of coffee, light a candle, which I need to do. What am I doing? <laughs> but yeah, have a designated spot in your home and make it Cozy. I'm going to string some lights here eventually. I mean, you know me, I'm always having lights everywhere. I just have to have them. It does something to you, like chemically, hormonally, chemically? No. It just signals in your brain, like, ah, yes, I suggest that. Okay, so I looked up some information and I'm going to use this candy cane from Simply Earth to drop behind there so it deters her from peeing. And actually what's in the candy cane is spearmint, fragrances, orange, and lemon essential oil. I also know peppermint is good. So yeah, I'm gonna spray a bunch of drops back there and see if it helps. Cause you glue all the pieces back together. Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better. Yeah, you, you're making me wanna try forever I feel so free, oh my sweet baby I'm going to show you ladies the salad that I've been trying to eat every single day I do a whole head of romaine It's a pretty big salad, it gets you full And the dressing that I am liking currently is the balsamic vinaigrette by Newman's Own Yeah, trying to eat a salad a day and it is absolutely delicious I will put everything that I put in it below. I feel so free, I'm a sweet baby. Okay, 
Okay, so I wanted to share with you real quick um, something that I do when I if I'm feeling too tired at the end of the day or I just haven't had enough time to prepare dinner, I, especially during the winter months, this is really an easy option. I don't know how healthy it is, but it is a super easy option. You just boil eight cups of water and then you just dump this in. And I find that they're really, they're really delicious. I find them at Aldi's and they have a chicken noodle and then a chili. So I highly recommend if you're in a pinch and you're not really knowing what to cook for dinner, these are really good.